first down for the Spiders. Second possession of the game up the middle and into the end zone untouched. It's Savon Smith for Richmond. But, but you got to be careful with those to give them free first downs and hurt you. Armstrong over the middle. It's complete. Lavelle Davis Jr. breaks away and he goes the distance. Touchdown, Wahoos. He had that dramatic TD grab late in the game against Louisville. Paris Jones, he's got a first down inside the 30 and down to the 27 yard line. But it doesn't really get any better than that. That's not going to make a ton of highlight reels. Look at this. Jones diving for the goal line. And he's in for the touchdown. But be careful of those penalties here in these situations. That is a perfect natural grass surface for these players. There's Armstrong on the run. Accelerates away. Down the sideline. Touchdown, Virginia. He was chasing down Bryce Perkins. Well, he did it on that run, James. All time in Virginia history, the leader in career total offense, Brandon Armstrong. On offense, but it's just second down and go right now for the Hoos. Hollins, the running back. Toward the goal line, that ball popped out and bounced around in the end zone. They got his own fumble. Hollins is going to come up with it and save in the day. Mike Hollins. Of course, a fourth down and goal. Rudinsky to the goal line. Touchdown, Richmond on the grab. Savant Smith able to hang on. It's a five yard TD touchdown. Big, big fourth and short coming up now. Not going to get it. Driven back on fourth down. So now the Spiders 0 for 2 on fourth down of the game. Virginia's defense holds. He's had 11 catches that hit for a career high. Armstrong over the middle. 99 is Thompson inside the 30 with the leaping grab. Third down and five. A little bit more interesting. Five of nine on third down. Armstrong lofts it to the end zone. And hanging on for the touchdown is Paris Jones. And the Cavaliers and Brennan Armstrong are 1 0 as the final seconds will tick off the clock. And guess what? Tony Elliott also 1 0. Give him the football for that first career win as a head coach here on the sidelines in Charlottesville.